Hello. In this video I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called solving a 2x2 system of linear equations that is inconsistent or consistent dependent. So first just to talk about those two terms. Inconsistent means that we do not have a solution. And since we're thinking of these as linear lines, that means that the two lines do not intersect. Meaning that there is no solution. And we'll recognize that because if we're trying to solve the system of equations and we get something that does not make sense, such as 4 equals 0, we know that that's not possible, so there will not be a solution to that system of equations. Another possibility is consistent and dependent, and that means that the two lines are on top of each other. So they're consistent, they depend on each other, and there are infinitely many solutions. And we'll be able to recognize that when we start solving the system of equations because we will end up with a statement such as 4 equals 4, which is always true. So we will have infinitely many solutions. Any point along the line would be a solution. So we could write the equation of the line. The other alternative would be to actually have a single point solution where the two lines cross and where they cross, that point is the solution, some coordinate x and y. And those represent our three choices here. We have the system has no solution, the system has a single point solution, or the system has infinitely many solutions where we would be able to find the equation of the line. So let's try solving the first one to see what happens. If we were solving this, elimination seems like an easy choice because by looking at this, I can see that if I add them, the y's will cancel. And adding, I also notice that the x's would cancel. So the minus 4x plus 4x would cancel. The plus y minus y would cancel. That would be 0. And on the right-hand side, the minus 4 plus the minus 4, actually those don't cancel, but we get a minus 8. So we're ending up with 0 equals negative 8 whenever we attempt to solve. And since we're getting a statement that is not true, that means we have no solution. So our first system is no solution. The second system we could also approach by elimination because on the left hand side, even though they're not lined up, I see I have a 3x in the top and a minus 3x in the bottom. So if I add the 3x minus 3x would cancel, leaving me with 0x. I would still have the y on the left hand side and adding on the right hand side, in this case the 3's cancel, plus 3 plus a negative 3 cancels, but I still have the y. So when I try to solve, I'm actually getting a statement here that says y equals y. And that's a true statement. It's not a solution, but it's something that's always going to work. So for this one, I'm going to have infinitely many solutions. It's this third choice. But we have an additional piece here where we're asked to give the equation of that solution. So we know there's infinitely many. To find the equation, I can take either of the two equations I was given and solve for y. Since it doesn't matter which one, I'm going to take the second equation. And to solve this for y, we would need only add the 3x to both sides. On the left-hand side, the 3x and the minus 3x would cancel, leaving me with y. On the right hand side, I have a minus 3 plus a 3x. So just to put that in standard form, I would write the 3x first. 3x minus 3. This would be our equation for all of our solutions. 